Hello and welcome to the Horizon Reallocation Example for the Vanguard ETF series. Today we're going to be taking you through a live demonstration of the reallocation process for a Vanguard account. We're going to go through the five main steps which are opening and reviewing the Horizon Action Report, opening the reallocation worksheet, and then accessing your Vanguard brokerage account where you will use their capability to export your current positions. You'll then take those current positions and import them into the reallocation worksheet, which will automatically generate for you the transactions that you need to enter in order to rebalance your Vanguard account. Before we get started, a couple of important legal disclaimers that I have to share. Compass Investors is not an investment advisor and cannot act as your financial planner. The information presented on the Compass Investors Horizon services for educational purposes only. You should consult with a financial planner before making actual any actual investment decisions. Past performance is not indicative of future results and please understand and remember that investing is risky and could possibly result in complete loss of your initial investment. Your actual investment choices are your sole responsibility. Horizon is an independent publication of Compass Investors and we are not affiliated in any way with Vanguard and under no circumstances will Compass Investors be liable for any losses incurred. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I've taken the liberty of signing on to my Vanguard ETF account and I want to point out the four main components of the subscriber homepage. First, the button to access the reallocation process document. This is the instruction manual for the service, and everything that I show you today on this video is included in the reallocation process document. You should be sure to read that before starting your first reallocation. The steps here are presented in three boxes. First, opening the current action report, then opening the reallocation worksheet, and finally, accessing your Vanguard account, which you can do directly by button number three. We'll open the action report, answer the prompt. The action report consists of three main sections, the current period analysis, or what we call the model portfolio, performance results, and a link to this video. The model portfolio shows the ticker, the ETF name, the horizon score, the model portfolio allocation, which is the percentage of the total amount being allocated, if there's any holding periods or penalties, and the asset class that the ETF falls in. A quick note on the score, this is either a positive or a negative number, negative number in brackets. A positive number indicates that the fund is moving in a favorable direction, and a negative number indicates the opposite. Once we've opened the action report, we can return to the home page and open the reallocation worksheet. The reallocation worksheet is an Excel spreadsheet. You must have Excel in order to use the reallocation worksheet. You'll notice that it's been pre-populated with the model portfolio allocation for each of the ETFs that are part of the model portfolio. Also notice that you must enable macros in order for the reallocation worksheet to work. This will look different based on your version of Excel, but you must enable the content. Return back to the subscriber homepage and we're going to access our brokerage account by clicking on button number three. I'm going to go ahead and log in. The first thing that we are going to do is access our holdings. Same thing as positions. You'll see listed here one, two, three, four positions that we currently hold. We're going to use the download button. We're going to select spreadsheet. The date range doesn't matter. We do want to select our account. Click on download. You'll see that it has downloaded into an Excel spreadsheet our current positions. We then return to the reallocation worksheet and we want to import those current positions into the worksheet. So we click on that select the download file and just like that we have all of our current positions balance dollars and balance shares imported for us notice the total is going to be slightly different than our actual account balance why because the market is changing real time it is important that you do this process while the market is open so that the proceeds of your orders will be used real time. 
we now click on the sell by transaction tab of the worksheet and just like that the reallocation worksheet calculated all of the sell transactions and the corresponding subsequent buy transactions that you need to do in order to take your current positions and reallocate them into the current model portfolio percentage amount. Notice that it shows you the ticker, the name, the dollar amount, the share amount, and a percentage of the share total being moved. Also notice that cash is shown as a sell but of course you don't actually sell cash that's just shown here so that you can see that the total amount which is two thousand nine hundred ninety two dollars and thirty cents is equal to the total amount of the buys so we're going to go ahead and enter four orders two sells two buys one at a time first we're going to take IVOV we're going to return to Vanguard and under the my accounts menu we're going to select buy and sell we are selling ETFs I'm going to scroll down to where we enter the type of order the symbol and the number of shares so remember we're doing sell orders first we're going to paste our symbol and we're going to enter the number of shares which we know from the worksheet is 12. now we suggest you use market orders you can use other orders, but that requires a more advanced skill set, and we're not going to cover those here. Because it's a market order, you'll select day. We suggest you use first in, first out cost basis. Again, you can select something other than that, but we, uh, that will be something you'll need to research on your own or discuss with the financial planner. Over on the right side, we click preview the order, and you want to look at the order details. So we're selling 12 shares of the IVOV at market for the day approximate principal of 1899 now notice that that will be also different because that ETF in fact has gone up since we downloaded it so we go ahead and click submit we then want to select trade ETFs or stocks and we're going to enter our second sell order and scroll down go to the worksheet VIOV I am copying and pasting that here we know we're doing a sell we know the number of shares in the worksheet is six. Market order, FIFO, preview order. Preview the order here, selling six, VIOV. Again, the estimated principal is very similar to that amount. Click submit. Trade ETFs or stocks. We've done our two sells. We're now going to do our two buys. So VNQ, we're going to be buying VNQ. Now, since we don't know how many shares, we are going to use dollar calculator that Vanguard offers. We're going to take the dollar amount, paste it in here, and you can see it's automatically estimated the number of shares based on the current price. Click on use share amount, automatically puts it in here. Again, we're doing market orders, preview the order. Now, a few words about this nasty looking message that pops up. This is simply telling you that you are trading with dollars that you just got through a buy order. In other words, you have, you're trading more than what you started the day with. And essentially, as long as you don't turn around and sell the shares that you're about to buy, you are fine. And in fact, I would encourage you if you're ever confused about this to call the number and ask your questions and make sure you totally understand what you're doing here before you place this order. But essentially you're trading with what are called unsettled shares. The dollar is available to you but you got to make sure you don't turn around and sell it. So go ahead and click continue. Here we're going to verify that we're buying VNQ approximately 1868 VNQ. Again the dollar amounts are going to vary but should be close and we're going to go ahead and submit. Another reason why the dollar value will be different is that you're required to buy whole shares and of course that dollar amount will will vary. Trade ETFs. Now an important note about the last order that you place and this is our last order so let's go ahead and set it up. VT, VTV. We're buying it. Now notice you have this much available to trade. 
which in this case is actually a little bit more than the amount that we've indicated in the worksheet. Part of that again is due to the fact that the markets are changing, prices vary, and that also we have to buy whole shares, which leaves you some remainder. Now you can decide, you can go with this dollar amount or you can go, if this is your last trade, with that dollar amount and try to maximize the amount of shares that you buy. Of course, it's okay to leave some cash behind, but we're gonna go ahead and use that dollar amount you have to take out the comma. It's calculated for us eight shares. I'm going to go ahead and use that market preview order. Same message as before saying that you're working with unsettled share, uh, unsettled cash from the previous sell orders. Again, as long as you don't turn around and sell what you're about to buy, that's fine. Here we're buying eight VTV, approximately 11.41.60, which we no is less than what we have available and that's good if it's ever more you do need to reduce the amount of shares but as long as it's less than this amount you're in great shape and in fact it's very very close which means we're only going to have a little bit of cash left over so that completes the process in fact if you now go and look at your account holdings You'll see that all those orders have been placed and we now have the four positions here that correspond to the four positions here and in a percentage of the total approximately equal to the model portfolio allocation. Well that consists of the entire reallocation process step and we thank you for your attention to this. Please again refer to the reallocation process document where you can find everything provided in excruciating detail. And if you ever do have any other questions, please do not hesitate to call us at any time.